What I miss about Cambridge is chilling, kicking it with him. We'd joke around, laugh. Cambridge was a great guy. He was, he was wonderful. I mean, he pushed me to where I am today. I looked up to him because he's my big brother, and I loved him. That's a painful subject to talk about. And my cousin Cambridge, he was a happy guy. It wasn't too many times, you know, in our life that you know, I ever seen him upset. My family is saying that I killed my big brother. I'm here today to clear my name up from all these rumors. These accusations make me feel hurt, definitely because it's coming from my family. I know Gavin killed Cambridge, you know, and it, and it really makes me angry because I love my cousin to death. Either he killed his brother or I know he know, knows who did it. Me and Gavin, we've had conversations, you know, and he's always saying that he paid to get the information on who killed his brother. He has a lot of anger and animosity in his heart, you know. I don't want to believe he did it, but I can see him doing it. I was with Cambridge the day before he was killed. I dropped him off around 6 p.m., and that was the last time I saw him. The day that my brother was killed, I went over there looking for him, and he didn't answer the door. So since he wasn't answering, I called my family and my mom for some help, and they said, go ahead and do a welfare check. So then the cops came, and they knocked on the door, and then they got the manager of the apartment to go up there to his room. And so the manager couldn't open the door without permission. Then the cop gave me permission to enter the apartment, and I went through the window on the right side of his door. It was broken already, so I just went ahead, I broke it more, you know, and crawled through there. And then the cop screamed out, he said, you gotta open the door before you move any further. I opened the door, started walking back there and back to my brother's bedroom. And that's where I found my brother on his bed, dead. And he had a gun in his hand. I saw blood coming from his nose and his face and stuff like that, you know? The whole situation with the welfare check, the way Gavin's telling it is a lie because it's from that point on a crime scene. When the police is there, there's no way that any pedestrian should be allowed to go into the premises, you know? So for Gavin to have went in through the window, you know, and found his brother dead, you know, that shows a sign of, of crookedness somewhere. For what reason were you so desperate to get back in this apartment? Was it something that you left behind, something you wanted to clean up, something you wanted to take? So, so you wanted to make sure that it didn't lead back to you. You wanted to make sure you didn't leave no evidence behind. My brother's house looked like somebody didn't ransack his house, like somebody was looking for something. I screamed. I tried to get him up. The cop grabbed me from behind. And I tried to, they said, it's now a crime scene. And then the coroner's office arrived, and they took my brother away. On the autopsy, it showed that my cousin was fighting. You know, he had abrasions on his hands and knees. He had a, a cut on his shoulder, you know, so he was in there fighting for his life, you know, so it definitely wasn't a suicide. There was no gun residue on Cambridge hands at all. Now my own mom that I love thinks I killed my own brother. I loved my brother and still do. It's just hurtful because in a time of need, nobody, nobody's there. I think Gavin would kill him out of jealousy, you know, and out of, out of hatred, out of anger, animosity towards his brother, you know, because he could never have that relationship he wanted with his mom. So I took a lie detector test to prove my innocence. And when I, when I pass, I want my family to never talk to me ever again. They turned their back on me and thought I did something despicable like that. I don't want them to apologize. I don't want them to do nothing. I don't want them to, that's why I changed and got a new phone. Once all this is over, nobody got my number. If he did kill my cousin, you know, I, I pray no mercy upon him at all. You know, and if you know who killed my cousin, tell us who killed our cousin, because we deserve to know. I'm very sorry that you lost your son. Um, was your son exhibiting any uh, behaviors like being depressed or anything like that? No, not at all. He was at the highlight of his life. He was just getting ready to start a job Monday for the police department where he was going to be doing maintenance. 
for six months and go on to become a police officer. So did they rule it a suicide? They did. They did? They did. Yeah. So, but you don't, you don't believe that your son committed suicide? No, because what reason would he have to kill himself? I mean, he was at the highlight of his life, starting a job that he wanted. Several items were missing out of his house, including his safe. And my son was an advocate. Um, he was into archery. And he was a gun collector and hunting and a knife collector. And two of his special knives were um, found inside of Gavin's room. What if Gavin just took them? I mean, what differences would it, would it make? It would make a lot of a difference because he's lied about the knives that first he dropped them on the sofa when he was at the house watching The Walking Dead. My son was never at our house that Saturday for a fact. He just wasn't there. And Cambridge wouldn't have given him those knives, period. I'm saying, what if he took them after your son? How would he have enough time to take them when he was just saying the police was telling him to come out of the house? How do you hear that your son? Well, that Sunday morning, Gavin asked had I heard from his brother. And I said, now that you mention it, no, he hasn't called. So I called Cambridge's phone back to back five times, no answer. I text him, no, no text message. I called a family member, same thing, no answer, no text back. So by that time, the family member said, we know we need to get to his apartment. Something's wrong. So I called to do a welfare check on my son. On the way over, when they were going in, well, I think they sent Gavin through the window. And that's when I found out my son was deceased. I hate to ask you, but what's that like? The worst feeling a, a parent could go through. So Kevin has stated he knows who killed his he brother. He has. I mean, is he just saying he knows, or does he really know? We, that's the problem. We don't know. Does he really know? Do you think Kevin is capable of killing anyone? I do. You, do, you think your son could kill he somebody? He has a very high temper. Yeah. Do you have a good relationship with Kevin? We did before all of this. Before this? Before this. He still lives with you? Correct. What's that like? What's your relationship like now? There's really not a relationship, just animosity through the Do house. Do you talk to each other? Um, just passing each other. I'm in my room and he's in his room. What, I, I mean, I think you would just cling to the other one if you lost one. No, because, no. no. If he was involved, <laughs> then I'd be want justice for Cambridge. You'd like to see Gavin go to prison? If he was involved in my son's death, yes. Now, what is this about a terrible fight they had that involved one shooting at the other? Well, supposedly they got into a heated argument. I wasn't there, and a family member told me that Cambridge did fire one shot at him, I guess a warning. From a gun? Yes. He shot at Gavin? Yes. Over what? I have, you'd have to ask Gavin that. You didn't ask his mother? <laughs> I mean, they're boys, they're not gonna tell the oh, truth. Oh, listen, <laughs> if my kids are shooting at each other, I'm gonna, as dad, be like, what the? Going on. You might have lost milk that day, but I lost both of you that day too. You know that, right? And if you pass, I'm sorry, but we need closure. Yeah. When your mom keeps saying that you know who killed your brother, do you know who killed your brother? I have a theory. You have a theory, and that's what I was kind of alluding I have, to. I have a theory. So why do you keep telling us you paid for answers? Because you do. You, you got to have a theory. You got to have something. You have to stop lying. You have to stop lying. Uh, i just curious. On the autopsy, it was ruled a suicide? Right. So the police aren't looking into any uh, murder or what happened to your son? Um, but I know my brother didn't kill himself. How do you know that? Because my brother, like she said, he, he was in the highlight of his life. We was doing things. We was going go places, you know? Were you close with your brother? Yeah, Very I was close. probably the closest one out of our family. I always kicked it with him. Every time I go, go home from work, I go take him some sodas, we'll go chill, kick it, get some beer, like. Did he really shoot at you? No, see that's, look, that's the whole thing that, we had an argument, yeah, and that family member that said that is a dead ass lie. So he didn't take a gun and fire right? No. <laughs> No, man. I mean, we, that, did, we did argue. Yeah, but all brothers Exactly. Do. We siblings don't yeah, argue. Yeah, exactly. But, no, but I'm not pulling out my gun and shooting at my brother. But you know that was told to me and, by who, and who told me. I know. And then your mom questions the possession of, you, you have possession of your brother's two favorite knives. How did you 
get the knives? I obtained one knife because he gave it to me. One, one day when we were watching The Walking Dead, she did mention that he left his knife. I called him, I told him he left his knife. He said, you can go ahead and keep it, little bro. I give you the, I give you the, uh, the handle to it later on, you know, the little sheath to it, whatever. And then the second knife came from after he passed away, from when they brought, they all, the family got together and they packed up all this stuff inside of his house. That's a lie, because we make sure that we didn't put no knives into a box to give to you. That's a lie. Uh, Steve. And, and lie number, not number one, is cameras were not giving you that knife because it was a, a special knife to him. Your cousin, who's on the tape, says that you were jealous of your brother. Why would I ever be jealous of somebody who I helped raise me and mold, mold me into the man but I even am today? If you, let's say even if you were jealous, would that be reason to kill somebody? No, like that's not reason to kill nobody. Bro, you 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 killed your brother, bro. I know you killed him, bro. If you didn't kill him, you you know who did it, bro. You had something man, to do with bro, it, bro. You know, why, dang. why why incriminate yourself, bro? You you told me personally that you know who did it. That bro, you I ain't never told you. Thing, bro, you Man, don't even know our family like that, that, bro. I don't know your family. Yeah, bro, I, I would probably cl prior to me moving, I was probably closer to your brother than you, bro. No, you wasn't. That's you was always in brother. jail, we fool. Had, what the hell are you talking about, twice, bro? bro. Right. We share the same blood twice, All right, bro. bro. All right, bro. We share the same blood. So why do you say what you say? Why, why do you say you know who killed him? I got a Why theory. Hey, that? I got a theory. Why, yeah, theory, theory, man. I mean, you can miss me with that. Why do you say you can miss you me know, with bro, I killed my own brother? That, you weird. That, that's, that's, you weird, that, bro. That, would you kill your you own weird, brother? Bro. Look now, at would you, you kill you your weird. own brother though? You, I'm not like you. I'm, I'm not like you neither. You. I'm not like you. Right, bro. I'm different from you. All right. You have a violent, aggressive nature. You think he'd kill his own brother? I, I, I personally do. You watch your mama suffer in that room. She's been suffering for a year now. And you said you know who killed him, but you're not giving us no closure. So what do you hide? The police did an investigation, and they feel like it's a suicide. The police investigation was a piece of crap. They, they called for a, a welfare check, and the police let him go in. So that shows you where the police department stands at, that they let a civilian, a pedestrian, go in through the window. That's not, a, but that's, a, that's not unusual, because when I was a policeman, we did welfare checks. It was common for a family member to open up, let us in the apartment, let us in somewhere. That's not, that's not well, crazy. This, this same police department, I did one a few months ago on a family member, and they told me I couldn't enter the house. They went in the house, searched the house, and wouldn't even let me in the house after that. This is the same police department. Let me, let me ask you, that it was this apartment to go locked? The house. Yes, his apartment was locked. Any windows broke? Yes, the, the one I crawled through, the right side. So it was broke, so somebody maybe went through the window? That's what I've been. That's what I've been saying. Did you ever have a relationship with Kevin? No. Me personally, I, I've never really had a relationship. No, we've with never Kevin. had he a relationship. Way younger. But from the relationship that I've gained with him over the past few months, he's a violent, aggressive, narcissist, sadistic, and I, that's just me being honest. So if you had to bet everything that you have in your life, whether he did it, is he guilty or not guilty? Me personally, like I said, I think he's guilty, and if he's not, he know who he know who, who did. It. And she's but, saying if he passes lie detector test, she wants a relationship. I, I didn't ask you this. Your mother's saying she might have made a mistake if you pass. She would love to have a relationship with her remaining son. Would you be open to that? Yes. Okay. I'm glad to see you do that. <laughs> Gavin came here, took a lie detector test. And we asked him, did you shoot your brother Cambridge causing his death? He answered no. Do you know who killed Cambridge? Uh, he answered no. Were you involved in the death of Cambridge? You answered no. The results came back all the same. And they came back that Gavin told the truth. <laughs> I'm really sorry, and I hope that we can put this behind us. And now we can show the rest of the family that we told the truth. But you got answers today, and I hope you do that now. You cling on to your remaining son for dear life, and you never let anything come between you again. <laughs>
Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.